<laughs> Humanly speaking, Jada and Izzy's adoption should have never taken place. They, at the time, were 7 and 11 when we began the process. About a year into that, we got an official denial from the government adoption agency in the Dominican. At that time, we realized and learned our girls had no documentation. Our, what we thought, year process became a three and a half year process. I had been praying for Tommy's heart to be softened toward adoption. We had three biological children and one of my fears was the financial piece. We were running a ministry, we were raising our own support. How are we gonna take care of the three kids we have? But this is what God called us to do. And that began the most beautiful relationship with Life Song for Orphans, and they became one of our biggest advocates. We got the interest-free loan, and we got the matching grant, and then for us, Life Song, we were able to share with our church, which now is involved with Life Song. I remember when my parents asked me and my sister if we wanted to be adopted. It made me feel special. I had a fear because like, I didn't know what outside looked like. We had to go to the courthouse and it was just a lot of unknown. At the very end, we're in a Dominican courtroom and they're questioning Heather and I. And the judge asked her, Miss Kyle, do you truly know what adoption is? He said, do you know we're all adopted? And at that moment, I thought, okay, Lord, you have just shown up in a concrete room in the Dominican Republic, and you have spoken and said, I've got you. God said yes, that Jada and Izzy are gonna be grafted into our family. In the middle of Jada and Izzy's adoption, the Lord crossed my path with a single mother who was very desperate for help. She did not have the resources to care for her 10-month-old baby girl. Her mother asked if we could foster her and take her in until she could get her life together. And so that began the journey of Aubrey Kyle entering our home a year and a half in to the process of adopting Jada and Izzy. We brought our Dominican daughters home and we got Jaden Izzy here and we thought the hard part's over. And to be honest, uh, the next two years was really, really hard. I was struggling as mom. I've gone from three to six children in a year and a half. How do I manage this? And then for our oldest son to come home one day and go, hey dad, there's a new kid at school, and he wants to learn to play ball. It was at the school that I was the former basketball coach. We began to learn Noah's story. I lived with my mother. We didn't have uh, anywhere to stay, so we stayed in a Motel 6. Our original plan was that Noah would be here to finish school, but he decided he wanted to stay. I knew I wanted to stay there, and I wanted Tommy and Heather Kyle to be my parents. Five or six months later, we ended up taking custody of Noah so we could provide insurance. We never, at the time, officially adopted or changed his name. And then Noah sent us a text on his birthday and said, you've always been my dad. You've always been my father. And my senior year in college, I want them to call your last name. We've done a lot of child adoptions, but it was our first ever adult adoption. Later that year, we do the court hearing. What I shared was, Tommy Kyle and Heather Kyle are my parents. Regardless of what I've done, they chose to love me with all. I definitely have no doubt that they love me. To listen to our son talk about us and what God had done in his life. We got to see the fruit. In my biological household, I didn't see that essence of love. If I wasn't in the Kyle family, I'd probably be on the streets, honestly. 
And then God had one more child for the Kyles. John, whose parents are missionaries in Dominican Republic today, we took guardianship to be able to provide insurance. Went to high school here, now has just finished college. John became our eighth child. When God grafts things together, you begin to see hearts change. That young boy or girl begin to love. They begin to feel safe, secure, significant. God begins to call out what He planted in them. I love my family. They're always here for me, and times are tough. When you're a family, you have to all be bound in together. I know that my parents love me. I know that even if we brought in other kids, that they were gonna love me with all their heart. God has brought eight people into our family, not just for us, but to reach the world. It's made us into the people that we are today, and I would choose it over and over again. I am grateful that I got a daughter because I can help kids that need love and give them what my parents are giving me. Adoption has changed my perspective of love and family, but most of all, who God is and how He sees me and His love for me. Jada and Izzy would not be part of the Kyle family today if Lifesong hadn't stepped into our story. Our journey, we never planned this. I actually said no to this. God wants us places where we can't control it. We just have to fully trust Him.